Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Nice Label Training Videos. In this video we're going to learn how we can connect Nice Label to Excel and print from it. When we open up Nice Label, I have the data ribbon portion of the program open and we can see the different types of databases that we can connect to. The four main sources are Excel, Axis, SQL Server, and Text File. We're going to stick with Excel for now. So I'm going to click on the Excel data connection. And right now this brings up the Excel database wizard. So this is going to help us actually connect to our Excel database and actually find it. I'm going to click next and here we have the database wizard connection settings. What I want to do is I want to browse for my database. So I'm going to click browse and I'm going to select my pasta.xls database. Now if we had advanced options such as different driver selection we could do that here. And we can even test the connection if we needed a password and username for the Excel spreadsheet, but we don't need one, so I'm going to click Next. Now here we have the available fields that we can use and the selected fields. All the selected fields are already selected and brought over here, meaning that they will be used in the actual database. If we had different tables, such as different sheets, we could click this drop down here and select them. And if I wanted to move a field, let's say let's remove the package, I would click on it and click Remove but I'm going to need all four fields, so I'm going to click on the package again and click Add. We're going to click Next, and now here is where we can change how many number of labels get copied per record. We can choose a fixed number, any number that we want, or if we had a quantity field specified in our database, we could click this radio button and select that field. So let's say I use the package field as my quantity. Whatever number package was in there, that's how many labels it would print per record. Right now we're just going to keep it to fixed for one, one label per number of records. I'm going to click next. And now here is where we can tell Nice Label to automatically create text objects for us or that we can do that on our own at a later time. I'm going to have Nice Label create the text objects for us. Now we're going to click next. And here's where we can actually see the data that's coming in from our database. So it shows us our product ID, our code EAN, our product description, and even the package number. As you know, as a warning, the data preview may not show all the rows. It's only going to show up to the first thousand rows. Now we can even do some advanced filtering in here by clicking on the filter tab and checking enable filter. And I can even say I want to only have the records where the package equals two. So if I added this, this would only show me the records where the package equals two. We can even sort our information by clicking add and selecting a column such as the code EAN and we can even sort it by ascending or descending. Now our data retrieving shows what we actually have to occur at print time, such as what, what sort of records print. We have the default print, which means we can print all records, the first or the last record, and we can even change the number of copies per record. So if we uncheck this show record selection at print time, we can't change the records that we're going to choose and how many records are going to be printed per record. If we check this box, this will allow me to select my own records and change the number of copies at print time. Also, we can collect records, meaning that we can take records and join them all in one row as a string of data or even use the same record for the entire print job. And for those of you that are experienced in SQL, this will allow you to do SQL statements to actually get a more finer refinement of your data. We're going to click Finish, and we're then going to see our finished connection to our label. Now, as you can see, we've got these four question mark fields on here. Question marks are normal and nice label. That means that they are variable fields. And if we hover over each field, I can see what field it is. I can see our pasta code EAN, our pasta product ID, our pasta product description, and our pasta package. Now I actually want to see how this actually prints. So we're going to go to File and Print. And now we can actually see the first record in our database. Now I can click on this arrow over here and actually scroll through and see the records that are coming in. Now let's say we want to actually only grab the first 10 records. We can click on the pasta table and we can even do something such as high, unchecking all the records and then checking our own, such as one, two, three, four, and five. And as you'll see down at the bottom, it shows us what records we're picking. So right now we've got one through five. 
Let's say we want to do records 1 through 5 and say 17 through 23. What we do is we put a comma and then type 17-23. Now when I hit tab, this is now going to show us that we've got 12 records. So we're doing 1 through 5, and if I scroll down here, we're doing 17 through 23. So we can print many ranges of records depending on whatever we choose. So we can choose all the records in the database, a group of records, or even fractions of records depending on something we may want to do in the database. So in summation, we learn how to connect our Excel spreadsheet to our label, bring in that data, learn how to do some filtering if we wanted to, and learn how to print records based on the checkboxes that we click or even by range of records depending on what we're looking for. Thank you for tuning into this video on Nice Label Printing from Excel.